Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Gabe's to here. This is a guide for Heroic Anubricon, the Hearthstone um, challenge in Naxxramas. And this is the deck that I used that worked most comfortably and, you know, was able to repeat it multiple times. So the goal of this deck, um, with all the Heroic decks, is no legendaries or epics, so only rare quality or lower. And um, to have something that's repeatable or somewhat reliable in sort of how s successful it is. So here's the basic deck, and I'll have it on the left here during the game. Uh, I'm not going to talk about every card, but the basic idea here is that the difficulty with the Nubricon fight is the 4-4 four, four minions that are summoned every turn almost. So you need to be able to deal with 4-4 four, four minions effectively. And I found Mage worked really well to do that because I could get effective draw. I can deal with a 4-4 four, four with Frostbolt plus a ping. I can do it with a Fireball. I can do it with a Flame Strike. I can do it with an Argent Commander. I can do it with a Sunwalker. Um, Water Elemental freezes them, then a Hero Power does it. Yeti does it, and so on. So there are a lot of ways to deal with four health minions. And that's kind of the goal of this deck. So it's sort of a slow control style, um, but it uh, generally is pretty successful. All right. So as we get into the game, uh, the start is pretty typical, you know, like most Hearthstone games. You want to curve two, three, four, that kind of thing. So these are fine. Uh, one important note is that the enemy will use direct damage spells, but he doesn't have any direct damage that does two damage. He has one from Mortal Coil, three from Frostbolt, and four from Shadowbolt. What that means is that Berserkers can be particularly strong because you can ping them with your hero power. So they're a 5-2, and it's effectively you know, the same as being a 5-1 or whatever. Like they have to use a Frostbolt or better to kill it. Anyway, so here I'll play the Berserker. It's a great matchup against that. Or it's fine, I should say. Not great. But... All right, Pit Lord is one of the most difficult um, things to deal with early game. Hmm. I could attack in and put this at five, but then it dies to that. That's only a six. Um, this is pretty uncommon. He gets both pill, uh, or excuse me, death lords. I keep saying pill lords. I did put, uh, I tried this deck with some Kodos in it to deal with these, but the chance that he gets these early uh, actually, it's pretty low, so, you know, sometimes you just, oh, well, too bad. <laughs> so I can ping that five, six, seven, uh, or I can just do frost, ping frostbolt. Yeah, that's, he gets a two for one. Whoops. But it'll summon a minion for me. It's an okay one. I will hold off the attack, though, because putting that at... Well, actually, no, I won't. Because if it's at six, I may be able to kill it with these two minions if he doesn't deal with my stuff. Okay, good. Wow, really? That seems... Highly stupid, <laughs> but I'll take it. Uh, okay, so I want to kill that. See what I summon. That's fine. Like, best thing is, you know, Sunwalker pretty much, or something like that, but still very good. Um, so I want to try to maximize value, which 
which means I should probably kill this after healing this. Yeah, I can afford in this particular situation to uh, skip healing my face because I haven't taken that much damage. Abomination. <laughs> the AI is so dumb sometimes. All right, well, no matter what, both of these are going to die when this explodes. So, I don't see any way to avoid that, nor is it worth trying. So let's use my mana. Obviously, playing Sunwalker is better than the Argent Commander naked. So coming up to turn seven, it's kind of like playing against a mage. Um, he has two board clear spells. Essentially, that do three damage to your minions and heal him for three. So you need to watch for that and plan accordingly. Uh, it's not a big deal, but it's just, you know, something. So this is good enough to flame strike. Primarily because I don't want to put this to one. He wasn't able to kill it before, so either he doesn't have any removal or he only has a mortal coil. Um, but more importantly, I don't want the divine shield on that to go away. So there was a locust swarm I talked about on seven. Uh, so it's good to have your you know boards somewhat reduced at that point. So we'll do the two and the other divine shield since his board is empty. And in pretty good shape at this point. So many gargoyles. So these are not that dangerous because, well, I should say they're not dangerous if you have a Sunwalker protecting you. Um, so in this case, I'm going to play this and ping it to draw. And probably play the Harvest Gold. Okay, so this does overextend a bit into um, the board clear, but he did play one already. And I'll draw one, two, two cards off it. <laughs> Shadowble Acolyte, really? Uh, doesn't make any sense. <laughs> okay, just kill your dudes. Thank you. So four, eight, 10, 12, 13, uh, nope. So we'll do the old ping and Rooney again. Um, doesn't really matter what I play here. I think I'll try to set up for spell draw off the blizzard. And I want to kill that just again to reduce my um, vulnerability to the board clear, but it's unlikely to really matter. All right. I don't see a way to win, <laughs> unfortunately. Unless I'm just blind. Two, well, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
and I have to do 13 at one shot. So maybe if I draw something here. How about a ping? <laughs> nope. Uh it's playing in that order so I can blizzard this thing. Uh two five that doesn't really matter. But I will play that. All right. So really just toying with him. I mean, look at the card and draw a difference. That's really where you start to break away. You did it, sorceress. Sorcerer. Actually, you're not the sorcerer. You're the apprentice. Anyway, so yeah, there you go. Um, like I said, the deck is pretty solid. Once I've kind of honed in on it, I was able to repeat the process quite a few times in a row, um, fighting against an Umbricon. And hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, as always, and see you next time.